Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. This is probably the most popular day to buy a TV other than Black Friday, <clears throat> which is really not a time I recommend making an impulse buy on a TV or on what TVs are marked down uh, due to a holiday, whether it's Black Friday, and I wouldn't buy specifically on those days, especially the Super Bowl. It's not what I want to talk about today, but it is Happy Super Bowl Sunday. What I do want to talk about, though, is covering yourself from defects and making sure wherever you buy has a comprehensive return policy. And make sure before you buy, right now we are in a BJ's, to really read the fine print on that policy to make sure what it is. And I will say that since the last few times I've been here, they've put a lot of these up. Electronics return policy, 90 day return policy on all consumer electronics, 14 day return policy on damaged TVs, laptops, and tablets. So what I think that means is if it's damaged, meaning you damaged it, or it arrived damaged, you only have the 14 days. Having <clears throat> 90 days, it's pretty good. So Best Buy, I believe, has something like 15 days unless you're an elite member or have a store card then you get 45 days at least that's what it was a couple of years ago when i went now best buy has changed their policy to where if you return more than five you're no longer allowed to shop there for a year that's what i hear um, i returned at least four to them so that's kind of the policy that i would really read up on now what you see is things like this they're littered all over the place. I never noticed these before. Now, this is by Asurian. If any of you guys have ever been with Asurian before, you know, you have your three-year protection for TVs based on the price. Now, really look at this, though. $1,000. dollars 89 dollars Now, if that's a one-time fee, that's actually worth it. If that's like other Asurian things like your phone, where that's a monthly fee, then I would say that's probably not worth it. But things like Geek Squad, where you do protect yourself on a no questions asked of being able to return your displays with the high failure rate of displays these days, and the panel lottery is very, very important. Now, years ago, the rule of thumb was do not buy the extended warranty because if they're going to fail, they fail within the first few months. That's not really the case now with I think so much of the technology crammed into these sets with the OS's, like anything else with complicated electronics, smart features, what these TVs are designed to do, and the bad manufacturing on every single one of these companies. Not to mention your defects like your burn-in and your, uh, your banding, your dirty screen effects things of that nature but the point of the video is to really look into programs like this or geek squad to know exactly what you're purchasing and what that return policy is to so really protect yourself because anybody will tell you on the channel and please talk about this in the comments how it is to deal with the manufacturer once your warranty is up now you should have a year warranty with the actual manufacturer so the extended ones, but I'm telling you, some manufacturers will just tell you, tough. And a lot of you in the comments have dealt with Sony, Samsung, LG, Vizio. I've dealt with all of them, and it's not pleasant. And you do feel powerless. So they do have these littered everywhere. They have them over by the cameras now. So what that tells me is that they've had a lot of returns and probably, you know, more than they'd like on electronics more than they used to but then again those TVs back in the day they would power on or they didn't so if you're out there buying a TV today or Black Friday or whatever other than doing your research on the kind of display you would want I would suggest really looking into the return policies that's also why I don't really recommend buying off eBay or buying used displays I know a lot of you guys do and have had good experiences I just wouldn't 
only because returning those displays you're kind of, you're hoping a seller or PayPal returns that money to you it may take a while you're shipping the display back going through Amazon especially Amazon Prime going through their first party A to Z coverage at least they can refund your money in a timely manner and I've had issues with them as well but the point of the video is again looking into these programs the Geek Squad is a good one but really read the five print is it a monthly or is it like a Shurian with the cell phones where you're covered but you're paying 11 bucks a month and then when your phone breaks you have to pay $200 for a new phone or is it a refurbished so I don't know the particular guidelines behind this store I know Costco has a really good return program I know BJ's did but they may have changed it but they just have a lot of these around manufacturer warranty extra year of coverage three years of coverage so make sure you do check the fine print and just really be careful protect yourself because there are a lot of you guys on the channel that are actually stuck with displays that have some pretty bad problems and there's just nothing you can do about it whether it's faulty HDMI's the burn-in issues that LG won't fix <coughs> though LG has fixed some of you guys um, replaced burn-in panels so Super Bowl Sunday hope you guys have a great time just protect yourself look into these programs and that's just the last bit of research which is why I don't recommend doing impulse buys a little TCL when something sounds too good don't just run out and grab it from anywhere see what that that retailer offers see if they cover things a hundred percent I would never recommend these back in the day now I think you really have to really look look at them I know people at Geek Squad or Best Buy that would literally take back displays every couple years say they're broken I don't recommend doing that to me that's the same as stealing but people do all right guys let me know in the comments if you do believe in these warranties if you think they're a good idea if your opinion has changed of them over the years due to the high failure rate and due to the panel lottery, has your opinion of these warranties, these extended warranties, have they changed? Do you pick them up yourself? I do remember though back in the day really saving up for a TV. That TV was a thousand dollars. I wasn't going to pay four hundred dollars for a warranty. So where do you guys fall on that? All right, guys, happy Super Bowl. Hope your team wins if your team's in it. And just, as always, be careful, protect yourself, and thank you, as always, guys. Take care.